Hey friends, welcome back to another video. We'll hear Orlando based flight attendant. I hope you are doing wonderful today. You're coming with me to do some grocery shopping, get other items that I need, and then we're gonna go back to the apartment because I have to meal prep and get ready. Tomorrow I start flying for six days. It's going to be a lot of flying and I wanna make sure that I am ready and staying ahead of the game so that I'm not feeling overwhelmed in the morning when I'm getting ready to go to work. Heavy trip that's currently processing. I've been trying to get rid of this fake four day trip. You have no idea for how many days I've been trying to swap drop. I've been trying to find other trips and other, you know, other ways. I've even tried to swap for like later, later trips on the month and it just hasn't worked. A turn popped up and then there was a three day. So I'm trying to marry that turn and the three day. Three day alone is 14 hours and this fake 40 trip is 14 hours. And I've gotten trips before when I am gone for four days and I get 30 hours of credit. So this trip is really not worth it. With the turn and the four day trip, I would actually end up with like 19 hours instead of the 14 that I have. And it's gonna put me over 100 hours, which is what I want and I still have two weeks off. I'll tell you all about it later to see if I'm able to get rid of that. I also don't know where I'm supposed to go. Is it the other way? Oh my God. I should probably use a GPS here. I don't know where I'm at, guys. Oh, the other way, hang on. Let's go get these items and then we'll go to the house and then we'll get ready to start this week of flying. First of all, I need you to address something. I feel like I am the king of buying reusable bags, but actually bringing the reusable bags to reuse them? I don't think so. Hopefully, in the future, I'm better at it. <laughs> Some of the items that I got here, uh, eggs, lettuce. I am trying this iced coffee, hear me out. I'm all about the espresso, but I recently got this almond and coconut uh, caramel. Uh, creamer. This doesn't really go with espresso, so we're gonna try it um, with some iced coffee. This I got, I don't know where, somewhere. Tomatoes, two different uh, things of potatoes that I'm going to roast. I'm curious to try this. This is carrot and sweet potato, it's like a blend. And it's already seasoned with sea salt, garlic, rosemary, brown sugar, and pepper. So I think I'm gonna make some, some bowls with, with protein and these veggies and then hopefully I can throw some avocados, rotisserie style pulled chicken. This is super easy when you're in a, in a hurry and you don't have a lot of time. You can do quesadillas, you can do tacos and just throw it over, over anything. Fresh ground turkey that I'm gonna use for the bowls. And then I changed the, what was I getting? It was, I've been getting English muffin for the past two weeks. And so I decided to get these sandwich skinnies. Uh, usually like English muffin is like 140 calories. This one's 110. And then I got uh, one of these sweet snacks that I really, really enjoy. And I don't know, they're just, they're just easy and good when you to go. Oh, and then I got some like household items like soap, toothpaste. What else did I get here? I got deodorant. And then in Marshalls, I needed to get like a grooming case because I lost mine. I don't know where mine is. So mainly I need it for the nail clipper. I should have just gotten a nail clipper, not the whole thing. But anyway, and then I saw this that I really don't need. Something about me that you guys probably don't know is that I am obsessed with Yeti. And I found this 14 ounce uh, mug in Marshalls and I got it. And it was only $16.99. I think it's like 20 bucks on the website. But do you guys wanna see my Yeti collection? I'll show you real quick. <laughs> I know what you're probably thinking. I've gotten them over the years. This was actually a gift. It has my full name engraved. And then, yeah, as so I found them and saw them, I you know got them i i feel like i have different options depending on you know the mood that i'm in i can you know use a different yeti and then and now we just get to add this one right here this one is probably the first one i ever got and it just has a whole bunch of like stickers this is the only one that i really put stickers this is a travel mug actually so this one has a different cap this is for like coffee and stuff and then the other ones is just really for coffee, wine. This one is really good for like traveling because it's like super tiny. And then obviously my bottle that I bring on all my trips. 
All right, guys, so while I'm meal prep, I am going to show you what I'm packing for this Denver turn tomorrow. I have some of my required duty items here, required duty items as well, required duty item fully charged to 100%. I only have to have it um, at 90% before my first flight, but I have it at 100. Here are some pens and credit card apps as well. And then I don't anticipate getting stuck, but in case that we do get stuck, you want to be somewhat prepared. I really don't bring a lot, but right here, this is my toiletry bag for my turn bag. I have everything from shower gel, shampoo, deodorant, forming cream, face scrub, shampoo, conditioner, everything you can think of for uh, personal hygiene. Then I also have my toothbrush and my toothpaste. I have a pair of shoes. Here are all of my chargers and all those things just in case and then on this packing cube right here i have some pajamas i have underwear socks and i also have a change of uniform just in case you never know and then i still need to prepare my uh personal item i'll probably use the top part of my lunchbox to put other items as well and this is pretty much what i'm flying with for this uh denver turn and i have an update on my whole situation with trying to get out of that 40 trip that i did not want to work so basically i had a fake 40 trip right even though on the third day my duty off was after midnight it still counts as a working day even though i'm technically not working on that fourth day so because it is a fake 40 trip the system just counted as a four day regular four day so whenever i am trying to swap i need to make sure that i am matching the total amount of days of the original trip that i am trying to swap out of i try to drop it which is when the reserve grid is green however it changed so quick that i was unable to drop it my next step on trying to get rid of it was either swapping for turns or swapping for a trip and a turn and then this morning it just so happened that a turn on the fifth uh popped up in open time and then there was a trip on the sixth totaling four days and so i went ahead and submitted a request so i was able to get out of that four day trip that i did not want the fake three day trip alone is 14 hours and then the turn is worth like almost five hours um, I also didn't realize that on that turn I just have to work the flight to Raleigh Durham and then coming back I'm deadheading which I mean come on it's not bad you're still getting paid full credit for it and only working one flight so I think it sort of worked out um, and so I'm, I'm very glad that that happened let me go to the kitchen because I can smell the food and then I'll come back here and we'll keep talking hang on this might sound a little crazy or a bit too much for some people but the day before I always like to lay out my uniform so that the next morning I just have to you know take it off the hangers and just wear it I do have to iron the shirt um, it is a little wrinkled somewhat just in the arms and then I have to iron the pant as well and then I have to kind of like use a lint roller all over it but then yeah I'll just have my uniform ready and here are some of the remaining items that I need to put in my bag my passport I always carry some tissue around my headphones this is for my phone uh, it's kind of like you know phone holder and then I have my wallet and my sunglasses just finished meal prepping and I realized that it is so unrealistic to try to bring food for every single meal of the day. I don't really want to travel with a whole cooler to bring food for all my for all my meals. And to be honest, sometimes we are on the go so much that I feel like the majority of the times when we bring a lot of food it just goes bad sometimes we end up staying in hotels and the fridge don't work or it freezes your food and so to minimize and avoid all that risk i'd rather just meal prep as much as i can but also not refrain from eating out only because i know that it is unrealistic to uh meal prep for every single meal of the day like i said but the key here is whenever i do decide to buy food and make healthier options instead of just buying like airport food but luckily for this trip i just have now a turn tomorrow which i'll i'll bring plenty of food for the turn and i'll have breakfast here before i go to work and then i have the fake three days so technically i'm gone for two days my duty off is just after midnight on the third day and then i do two turns if i'm not mistaken i'm not super worried about food this week and then i'll have time to to make more if I have to because I'm not going to be gone for all six days it's just really for two that I'll be gone and then the other days I'll be able to just bring my food and then just just eat and not worry about having to buy anything I'm going to finish cleaning the apartment and just really organizing stuff I have to pick up my friend in a little bit so I'll be heading over to the airport in probably an hour and a half 
Hopefully I can just rest and relax the rest of the day. Even though I've had a few days off, I was actually up at Jacksonville with family and we weren't doing a lot of stuff and I wasn't feeling 100%. I've been with a neck pain for over a month. I started going to a chiropractor this week. So hopefully that is going to, to change and I'm gonna feel better. I did get my hair cut, so that's a plus. Chiropractor and haircut on the same week, I'm winning. Um, and yeah, now I just have to Pretty much just organize the rest of the stuff, do dishes. I quickly wanted to say thank you for 2,000 subscribers. I hoped that at some point this year I was gonna hit 2K, but I didn't think it was gonna be in August, and so I am very grateful for that. I hope this vlog gave you a bit of an idea of what I do when I'm not at work and how I get ready for, for my trips. I'm super grateful and happy that we made it to 2K. If you did enjoy this vlog and learning a bit more about what I do before going to work, go ahead and smash that like button and I am going to see you next Sunday for a flight in a vlog. Take care.